Oh, there you are. Oh, okay. Today I will tell you a little bit about my new adventure with the uh, AirTags. I've seen a few videos from AirTag Alex and some other people sending AirTags around the world. And lately I had to send a parcel to Singapore and I had this idea, why don't I throw an AirTag in there and see what happens? And you will not believe what happened. I was absolutely amazed about the way it took to Singapore. <clears throat> and in the moment it stuck in the mail delivery center for what reason, I have no idea. It's there since Friday. That means uh, four days, five days now. And um, it's not going out on delivery anymore, so I don't know. Okay, let's see. And um, what I will do now, uh, um, show you all the stages that AirTag went through and uh, we'll make a running commentary. Okay, see you later. Okay, here we have AirTag number four, the one I chose to throw into the parcel, wrapped in a little towel so it won't rattle around in the, in the cardboard box. That's very important, I think. So it's neatly neatly put in there and then the next thing is just typing it up and uh, make sure that the parcel is nicely secured and um, <coughs> being um, neatly packed up ah, I was I was amazed that my old uh, tape dispenser dispenser uh, still worked and then put the label on it and then we went um, from my office to the Parap post office. And um, after I left, I could see the, um, the air tag uh, displayed onto the um, post office. And then I got a notification that, um, <coughs> that I posted the parcel. And then at five o'clock in the afternoon, it went to uh, the Nelly post office. And it stayed overnight in the Vanelli post office, which is actually right across my, my office. And then from there it went to Darwin Airport to the Qantas Air Freight building. And from there it went to Terminal 11. I know the Darwin Airport very well, so I knew exactly where it ended up. And also I could figure out what plane it was going on to because um, there is a Melbourne flight, uh, QF837, leaving off gate 11. And you can see the plane being pushed out of gate 11 and then it went onto the runway and off it took. So with the uh, app called um, Flight Radar 24, I followed it all the way to Melbourne and then arrived in Melbourne, but I have no idea which gate that is. I don't know Melbourne Airport very very well and then it went around the airport to a few places but never left the airport or the airfield it just went from one place to another and the next morning it went to that gate up there and um, yeah the next time I saw the the air tag it was in Sydney at the Qantas terminal yeah and then from the terminal it went to the Qantas uh, air freight center at the airport and um, I thought from here it will go to the plane and then leaving for Singapore but I was very surprised when I saw that uh, AirTag moving again. Yeah it went to the um, Australia Post Mail Distribution Center in Stressfield and uh, they had spent a bit of time and it moved around the building. It was very interesting to see and then it moved again and this time um, to the uh, customs post office. I know that place very well because in the past I've dealt with them and from there it went to the um, international uh, freight terminal in at Darwin Airport and then it went to that gate and um, I had a look which flight is going to Singapore and there it was. SQ222 and then I followed that flight all the way through to Singapore and um, 
Yeah, that was really interesting to see. And then it arrived in Singapore at uh, Terminal 3, and then it went from Terminal 3 to the Singaporean post um, uh, section there at um, that side of the airport. It was very interesting to see that um, all the different stages where I could um, detect the, the air tag. And uh, yeah, I was, I was amazed. And then it didn't stay there very long at all. I was out thinking about now, now it will stay there. And then I got a message from Australia Post that my, my parcel has, had arrived in Singapore. I was very amazed. And then the next time I saw it, it was at the mail distribution center for Singapore Post. And um, then it went from there to Yishun. And then I could see the mail delivery run the guy did um, in Singapore. And it was just amazing uh, how you could follow all the way through all the different places that went around uh, Yishun. And um, unfortunately, my recipient wasn't at home. So that uh, run you see here, that has been done three times. And um, yeah, it was never delivered which is a bit of a shame, but anyhow. And now it's stuck in that um, meal delivery center at Greenwich Drive in Singapore. And for the last five days, and it's not moving at all. And I'm a bit annoyed about that, I really. I just can't understand that. But anyhow, we will be patient and see when that thing will be finally delivered. It should be in block 264, but um, yeah, it was not delivered. Okay, see you later.